afternoon. It's Thursday, June 10th. I'm Tony Pellegrino, and this is part of a live tech talk that we do every Tuesday and Thursday. This is a great program where we get to talk about your favorite subject and mine, jeeping, and how to build them, how to make them better. So thanks for joining us. We've, uh, we've got a great show prepared for you today where we're going to talk about suspension. We're going to talk about some featured products and we're going to talk about some upcoming land use fundraisers. So let's get started. First off, we welcome your questions and comments that we have people here to answer those questions. Next, we've got some featured products that we're going to talk about. But before we do that, we are going to talk about Oceano Dunes. This weekend, there's a fundraiser there where if you go to the Pier Street Deli, they are giving 15% of the proceeds back to the land use effort. And this is all part of a Pismo Beach takeover party barbecue that's happening at Rugged Radios from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. on Saturday, June 12th. So really nice. It, it goes to keeping what we know as Pismo Beach open to OHVing and uh, also referred to as Oceano Dunes. So it, mark that on your calendar to check that out. All right, next, uh, we're going to talk about several things today, and I want to give you some guidance on our website on where to find these things. So if you've never been to our website, um, this blue bar, if you just scroll over it, it's going to drop down like this. We're talking about the galleries today. Um, within the galleries, I'm going to be talking about a Jeep that's in the JK build section. So um, if you want to go check this out in more detail, I've got a whole write up in there that you can check it out and uh, get more information on that. We also have a very powerful search box where you can type in part of the description or part of the part number and it will pull up everything related to that. So on our homepage, part of the reason I, I showed this slide is because we're going to be talking about these very inexpensive three and four link brackets for only $99. So this is gonna get you started on uh, four linking and three linking your Jeep to make it even better, kind of long arm. First featured product today, it's summertime, it is hood louvers. Hood louvers are a super important way to rede reduce the amount of heat coming out of your engine compartment. Um, this will clearly drop your underhood temperatures by at least 20 degrees, and we sell them in a variety of different shapes and sizes. We have everything from a whole hood louver to two and three piece hood louver sets that you can use that are powder coated. So it really works out well. They're easy to uh, screw on, rivet on, and you can either drill some simple holes or cut it out in detail with a, a metal blade on a jigsaw. Um, they start at $59, so fairly inexpensive, and uh, something I just wanted to mention for you guys to check out since it's summer and everybody's Jeep is running hot. Uh, the next thing I wanted to talk to you guys about was make sure that you're signed up for our newsletter. If you just scroll down to the bottom of any page on our website, um, you just add your name and your email and hit subscribe and you're instantly going to get um, all of the information that we send out to our customers. Um, gives you the advance notice on new products and other promotions we're doing. Here you can also shop directly by brand. So if you're just looking for PRP seats or King Shocks or whatever, it's all right there. Uh, next featured product is our seat mounts. So the, these are really, really nice. Right now they're available for TJ and LJ. They're adjustable up and down and tilt front to back. And then you can lock them into place. They have built-in seat belt mounts. Really, really nice product. You put your seat sliders and your seat on top of this and uh, then you've got a really nice package. They do provide some storage underneath, which is nice. You can store quartz of oil or your first aid kit or your uh, toe strap easily fit underneath the seat. So that's a nice product that if, you have, if you're in the market for that, check it out. It comes with a little kit like this. It's available on our website. Again, if you just type seat or mount in the search box, it'll come right up. Next thing I wanted to talk about was our JK aluminum half doors. We came out with the JL ones uh, for the JL and the JT. Now these are the JK version of it. They're 316 aluminum, all laser cut and formed. Really, really nice product. 
that um, I think you'll like. They do take the best top upper doors and these ribs have holes in them that allow you to mount our inside storage bags. All right, next thing I wanna talk about is our inexpensive Jeep builds. So this gentleman bought our Legend kit and was able to still use the coil springs and shocks so the standard setup on a TJ or LJ. Okay, by using some of our bracket kits and still using the factory 44 axles and staying on a 37 inch tire. This is a great option for you to switch over to a high quality long arm kit like the one we offer, right? All quarter inch thick brackets, really nice. Um, so we want to talk about this a little bit today and I'm even going to show you at the end of this how cheaply you can get into this. All right, so this gentleman, uh, like I said, maintained the factory coils, the factory coil buckets. He added on our brackets for the track bar. He upgraded the steering. He even did a, a crane, a high steer knuckle on here. You don't have to do that, but that's an option. Um, Terraflex makes one too. This, this is probably the nicer of the two. And uh, this, this worked out really good. He even reused the little ear that's up on top. So you're converting this from a four link to a three link in the front. Here's a closer view where you can see that he maintained the coil springs. He did shorten this a little bit to because the, the coil sticks out. So he just put the track bar, axle side track bar mount as close as he could to keep that track bar as long as he could. That way, if the track bar and the drag link match, you get little or no bump steer. Okay. And then he moved the tie rod up so it's out of the way. Very, very nice setup. Okay. Here's a close up of our track bar bracket that he welded on. You can see it uses a Johnny joint on this end and a nice big 916 double shear bolt. Um, if you'll notice what is missing, he's got the sway bar mounts here. He doesn't have a sway bar connected. He said it worked so good that it wasn't necessary anymore. Here's the passenger side where you can clearly see the factory uh, spring and shock tower still intact. Now this does mean that you can't move the axle forward, but that's fine as long as you're standing on a 37. In the rear, you can see that he was able to, the, the, normally the shocks hang way down. He was able to rotate them up and get them up out of the way and keep that as flat as possible. This is a standard 44, but he bought the uh, aftermarket Dynatrack cover to match his front end. So um, he's got the standard coil spring still there. And uh, you can see it's very clean. And because he used our gas tank, he was able to stretch the rear axle back seven inches. So nice, nice feature. Um, here again, we've got a close up of the coil spring in the rear. And you can see how the shock goes up inside the shock tower. I'll give you a shot of that in just a second. Here we go. So he used our, what we call a spring, coil spring correction bracket. And this is adjustable. Once you weld it on the frame, you can adjust that to get the coil directly under the axle. Nice feature. And then here's our rear shock tower that he's got, that standard style shock tucked up and that, that allowed him to get it off the bottom of the axle. Here's another shot of it, a little bit more clear, right? You can see the bracket welded on here and this bracket Frenched into the side of the frame, along with our tank back there. Really clean, very simple. It does move the dampening control much further out to the wheels, which is really nice. It makes the vehicle feel a lot more stable. All right, on the other side of the vehicle, same situation, just a little bit different view where you can see the shock tower and the shock all Frenched in there. Um, these shock tower, this shock tower kit is very inexpensive and it is also the same one that you use for a coilover. So down the road, if he ever wants to switch to coilovers, he could just eliminate this and convert the whole thing over to coilovers. But, you know, some people want to do it as they save money, but they want to be able to, to advance while they're saving money. Okay, so let's talk about this. So I showed you on the homepage of our website, the three link kit, 99 bucks, four link kit, 99 bucks. Uh, then you've got the front shock mounts. Now these are the same, the front and rear are the same 
for standard shocks or coilovers. They're $299 each. Then um, the, the lower axle side track bracket, uh, sorry, control arm brackets are $59.99. Then our track bar with both sides and the TJ mount, $599. That's uh, completely welded with the Johnny joint on one side with all the hardware. $599 is a great deal. Um, then your upper link mount. So if you don't use the ear on top of the differential, you can buy that for $49. Bucks. Uh, then you've got your rear control arm mounts. Lower control arm mounts are $59 for the pair. Then you have your rear uppers are $67.99. Then if you want to use brand new Johnny joints and jam nuts, that's $4.99 for all of them that you need. And then uh, DOM links um, with the bungs are also $649. So you can do that whole setup for t under $2,800 and have your, your front and rear of your vehicle linked and ready to go. Now, if you're using your stock rear axle, there's an optional rear bridge for $149 that you're going to need. You can also do our optional belly up skid plate, which is much higher clearance, $549. When you do that, you need to get our optional transmission cross member kit, which also holds the transmission and transfer case up so that when you drop the skid plate, everything doesn't come down like the stock one does. This is a great upgrade. I highly recommend that. Then while you're doing this, you probably want to stretch it. So get our gas tank and that's 1100 bucks. And then if you don't have any coil purchase on your axles now, um, then those you can buy those for 129 so that's another 2100 bucks or you're still doing the whole thing for under five grand that's pretty awesome to be able to get all those parts link the front and rear be fully done uh, that's a that's a very inexpensive way to do that and down the road it gives you the option to upgrade to coilovers with doing very very little so a really nice way to do it and um, I think most people would be very happy with this. Now you could do just the front, just the rear, and kind of step into this even more. I always recommend calling into our sales department. We, we don't have voicemail here. Everybody picks up the phone and everybody here drives a Jeep. So when you call in, you're actually talking to a Jeep guy that's been through these steps so they can really help you uh, with what you're trying to decide. Uh, keep in mind, this also means if you're gonna stay on a 35 or a 37, you don't have to buy axles. You only have to buy axles when you wanna move up to a 40. So um, we're giving you lots of options here and uh, really showing you how you can do this inexpensively. Next, let's talk about the JK, right? Cause the one before was the TJ, LJ. It could even apply to YJ and CJ as well. Now let's talk about the JK Elite. Um, this is a customer of ours that wanted to get up to 40s. They bought the axles, but they weren't prepared to spend all the money for the whole Elite kit. So I'm gonna step you through how they were able to keep the standard coils, shocks, all that stuff, and um, are working their way toward um, being able to install the full Elite kit. As you can see, this looks like any one of our builds. Um, where it's got the curry axle. These are 70 inches wide, right? With the high steer, chromo high steering. This is everything like we would even have on Terramoto or, or any one of the builds that we do. Um, let's go. Get you a couple more shots here. Here's the rear end. So you can see um, this customer had Fox shocks on. So we, what we did was we ordered the rear axle with all the standard brackets. So it's got the standard track bar mounts, standard shock mounts, standard everything. And uh, that also saves a lot of money because you're getting it from Curry that way all done. So this is a 70, but it's got everything done to it. Now down the road, when they want to go to our fully leak kit, they're going to cut those brackets off and install our brackets, but at least they've got the rear axle. It's the right width. Everything's there. And uh, you can see they still have the muffler here, so they haven't, they haven't converted to get our gas tank or any of that stuff yet. So, but this is just part of the process where they could keep those standard coil springs. You can see on the front axle, it's really clean. The brackets are rotated up. Those, those are all of our elite mounting brackets. So um, it really helps to get everything tucked up, which is really nice. 
course, they've got our cage and everything and our aluminum half doors with our bags. Okay, so here's a close-up of the front end. And I want to show you a couple things that um, had to be done. So first off, they used our lower control arm mounts that have the bump stop pads built in. Um, they machined some aluminum pieces that not only held the coil spring, but allowed the bump stop that's built within to touch at bottom out so they, they had the right distance, right? So that everything wouldn't crash. Those are bolted directly to our bump pads. So down the road, when they want to go to coilovers, they can literally slip those off, they cut off the buckets, put in our shock towers, and uh, the, the coilovers are ready to go in. They've already upgraded to our Chromo high steer on the front track bar. They just had to make one modification right here where they tilted a little bit more forward and filled in with a plate to clear the coil spring. So a very small mod that will not affect when they do decide to go to coilovers, but for now it allows them to be able to run all this stuff. So the next steps would be to change the front and rear cross members, move the gas tank to the back and do the flat belly. So those are, um, those are expensive steps. So this allows the customer to kind of digest this a little bit at a time. And uh, really, really a nice way to go. And again, if you have any questions, if you only want to do the front or the rear, call in and talk to my guys. They're experts at this. They, they answer these questions all day long uh, because a lot of people are wanting to do this. So um, this is not possible on the tracer. The tracer is a completely different animal where it's built to be only used with the curry axles, only put in one spot only all done at the same time. So um, if you want to do it to your TJYJ, LJ, um, you, you're going to need to go with the Legend kit. And uh, that's our most universal builder's kit where the, the Elite for the JK is a little bit more of a system. So, but my guys can explain that more to you. The phone number is right on the top of the website and uh, easy to find. Let's see what else we got here. So you can see, you know, this, this vehicle um, looks really clean, looks like any one of our other Elite builds, but you'd never know that it doesn't have coilover shocks on it. Sits has that nice ride height to it, and uh, this person will be able to upgrade as they can afford it, so a, a nice way to go. To, uh, to conclude the show, you're, you're watching this on YouTube right now. We also do this on Facebook and Instagram. So follow us on all three formats. Um, we're doing this every Tuesday and Thursday. And of course, over on YouTube, we've got thousands of videos. So check out, we've got product installs, racing stuff, jeeping stuff, and these tech talks. And some of the tech talks are very detailed in terms of terminology. Um, as well as uh, expanded explanations on suspension and geometry. So we've got lots of information out there. Please check it out and uh, join us for the next Tech Talk. Thank you.